بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم اف اللہ دا موسٹ مرسیفل اینڈ دا موسٹ بینیفیسنٹ سو ان لاسٹ لیکچر وی واز اسٹڈینگ اباؤٹ کائمیرا سو ناؤ وی ول کنٹینیو فرام ہیئر آفٹر دیٹ وی ہیو دا آپشن آف لیبل ریزیڈیوز اینڈ ان لیبل ریزیڈیوز یو جسٹ کین سلیکٹ اینی آف دا ریزیڈیو like you just selected for coloring the residue you can label the residue just select the residue and open the label option and you can label the residue you can label the residue with three letter code of amino acid you can label the residue by one letter code of amino acid with the number of that amino acid like serine 14 you can label it like ser14 or you can also label it like s14 if you have many residues and and when you will show the three letter code of the amino acid there will be a mess on the figure in that case you can just show the one letter of amino acid one letter code of amino acid with the number and if you have less amount of or less number of amino acids you can show the three letter code of amino acid depends on the need of the figure or your choice here you can see in figure number 76 we have arginine 163 histine 167 isoleucine 171 and arginine 166 arginine 165 glycine 173 and histidine 174 we just label that because uh, ras f2 has this binding pocket in actual that we just showed i think so okay now we will be on preset options in preset options you have three or four different types of styles and you also have the tools or sequence and different types of icons in which you can adjust the light adjust, adjustment option in which you can adjust the light there there is a torch when you just open that icon you have ucf self camera in your laptops you can just open any three dimensional structure and perform all these experiments for your learning it's much better for you if you will perform this experiment and practice on this just upload a three dimensional structure and go to the preset option you have light adjustment option there will be a torch you just put your cursor place your cursor on the torch and click and drag the torch you will see the light will move with the torch on your protein that you uploaded then you have interacting residue analysis you can perform it the analysis i remember you guys just know about that but i am going to explain it again first you have to select the structure analysis or select the specific residues or maybe select the ligand or the interacting protein depends on the experiment then you have to find the clashes and contacts you just have to click the option of clashes and contacts and you will have the contacts with the amino acids with one another or maybe okay we have this figure figure number 78 for changing the intensity of light here we have the torch like option you can see in the this figure and when you just move it you can change the light from this structure please focus on the cursor of the mouse from where i just want to explain i try to explain after that you have the option of designate after find clashes and contacts from this window you have the option of designate here you have many parameters your contacts should be minus 0.4 armstrong and uh, your clashes will be 0.0 as i remember you can cross verify that after that you have four options here first one is the select option in the second one you can color with the red in the third one i uncheck these options in actual but you can use these options i usually use the first one and the fourth one but i am just explaining all the options for you if you want to use that in the three op third option draw pseudo connections in the yellow color and the width of the interacting ligand or the residue of the protein should be two armstrong then you have the yellow lines 
from that which amino acid is interacting with which amino acid like cinene is interacting interacting with leucine there will be a yellow line between that because usually students or the newcomer or the beginner don't know which amino acid is interacting with which amino acid and if you will generate the log file you can know it very easily or you can also find the distance between the two interacting residues in armstrong i hope and i believe in many papers you guys read about that in the tables that serine is about 1.5 armstrong far from leucine and it has this strong affinity so if you just use these options you can find the distance for this yellow option the third one in the fourth one you will, you are using the overlap option assign overlap attribute in fifth one you will have the information file that has the detail information of the interacting residues and in the sixth one you will have the reply log file depends on your need i usually check one and fourth one because i just have much experience in this so i can understand if you guys want to understand more you just you just have to generate the log file and the information file for your info, for your much more learning okay here we have this option that i already described to you one letter code and code specifier you can see here maybe okay i can highlight it for you then the most important step we usually perform in in, uh, in chimera is energy minimization why we minimize the energy very important and basic concept and quest question for you for the next lecture everyone please read about it and i will ask from you why we perform energy minimization of the th predicted three dimensional structure everyone of you has to study about that and we will discuss in next class energy minimization is the significant process to minimize the protein for further drug design studies tanavish ajaz can you hear me please unmute your mic yes sir uh, now the screen is okay beta ab aapko sahi samajh aa rahi hai ab zyada tez to nahi hai raftar zyada tez to yes nahi. sir everything is okay okay thank you yes sir theek hai yes thank you mute yes, sir. my beta energy minimization is the significant process to minimize the protein for further drug design studies to minimize the protein open the file upload the file use the tools option structure editing and minimize the structure it's very easy it's very easy if you just want to click it it's easy when you know the principle it's easy when you know how it is working otherwise it will be very difficult for you if you just click it and you don't know what is happening you should know what is happening here so in the minimization steps we usually use if we we usually usually perform it at 1000 1000 steepest descent steps and 1000 conjugate gradient gradient steps to minimize the protein here we also have another mistake f is small it should be capital okay so then you have to minimize the three uh, three dimensional predicted structure to make it more reliable you can see here you just have to upload uh, write 1000 in conjugate gradient steps in armstrong and you also have to write 1000 in steepest descent steps in that bar so it will be much good for you it will hang your laptop if your laptops are not much good but you don't need to close the software you just have to wait it it also take much time depends on the number of amino acids in the protein like if you have 200 amino acids in the protein maybe it will take 5 hours and if you have 500 amino acids in the protein it will take much longer for that and sometimes it hang the laptop so you have to be very patient in this analysis and don't lose your patience just calm down and one more advice if you want to perform this experiment of minimization use the desktop uh, desktop computers it's much more better so after minimization you can save the protein for further experiments 
and in this chapter we just only discuss the visualization and minimization of the protein as the title of the chapter is i am going up for you up 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 okay jonathan javed why you are here okay like visualization of predicted structure the chapter heading is visualization of predicted structure so that's why this chapter only discuss the visualization of protein and how to analyze the interacting residues how to label it how to color it how to save it how to show the surface of the protein how to change the transparency of the protein surface and minimization of the protein so the whole uh, tools of chimera suit is not discussed here if you want to explore you can after that we have this interesting section of chapter number 6 limitation of structure visualization tools it should be tool because we are just using ucsf chimera and it takes much time to save in povre images and it also take much time when you are going to minimize the protein okay you can read it for your information after that we have this table and as we use one tool in this chapter so there is one tool in this table it it is freely available tool description is here workflow is here url is here and oh yes usman ali you can ask the question usman ali okay after that we are on chapter number 7 the last chapter and i hope we will summarize this in this lecture uh, hafiz abdul hanan are you with me hafiz abdul hanan okay talha israr talha israr okay abdul hanan please unmute your mic हेलो वालेकुम सलाम बेटा आपकी आवाज बहुत डीप में हेलो बेटा अभी भी बहुत डीप में ओके प्लीज रीड द एब्स्ट्रैक्ट फॉर मी चैप्टर नेम एंड एब्स्ट्रैक्ट चैप्टर नंबर 7 प्लीज रीड मॉलिक्यूलर डॉकिंग स्टडीज एब्स्ट्रैक्ट द मॉलिक्यूलर डॉकिंग इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट अप्रोच टू कंप्यूटर एडिटेड ड्रग डिजाइन coupled with structural biology the ligand like protein docking analysis performed to bridge the binding domains of ligand with a protein thank you so much talha israr we have do we have talha israr with us no okay mm basit basit ali nasir we have 13 participants only okay okay jonathan javed <coughs> hello who is there yes sir please read the abstract. jonathan please read the abstract the molecular docking is a significant approach to computer aided drugs design coupled with structure biology the ligands protein docking and analysis performed to predict the binding domain of the ligand with the protein oh thank you so much okay in this chapter we will discuss the molecular docking studies and i as i remember autodoc tools autodoc vena gold these three softwares were discussed in this chapter in detail so we are going to start that as you guys know what is molecular docking there are many types of molecular docking protein protein molecular docking analysis protein ligand molecular docking analysis flexible docking blind docking targeted docking and rigid docking and you know all of those i hope first we have autodoc it's a very beautiful tool it is a freely available tool and very cited tool but we also have very good tools like moe and yasara gold 
Arto Doc, Arto Doc Vina, and uh, many other tools we have for molecular docking. The story again finish with this conclusion that if you know the principle or the working of the tool, it is much better for you. Arto Doc is an automated blind docking tool and can also be used for targeted docking studies. It is designed to predict how small molecules, including substrates or drug candidates, bind to a receptor having three-dimensional structure. Ardoc is not intended to perform protein-protein docking. Ardoc is not for protein-protein docking. For protein-protein docking, usually we use Gramax, Patch Doc, Fire Doc, Head Doc, and many more. Ardoc implements the genetic algorithm. Okay, how many of you know about genetic algorithm? Anyone knows? genetic algorithm muntaha slim do we have muntaha slim here jonathan javed yes sir muntaha slim is here no sir okay i i remember she published an article last semester in last semester and in that article, the authors discuss about the genetic algorithm. So I hope and suppose that she knew about that. And Saba Ansar, Saba Ansar is with us. Okay. So Autodoc applications. Autodoc has applications in X-ray crystallography, structure-based drug design, lead optimization, virtual screening, combinatorially combinatorial library design chemical mechanism studies. And we have Autodog 4 requirements. We should, we need input files in .pdb. And after that we have preparing the protein. If you can understand it, you can, you can run this tool without Pyrex. So please be focused if you want to learn about that. Just download it and install it. It's a bit tricky, but it's a good tool. So the, uh, the easy form of this tool is Pyrex. To upload the .pdb file of RASF2, we use the option of file and then read molecule. Like in, when you read the molecule, you will upload the molecule, the three dimensional predicted structure. Read molecule in this sense that the tool just read all the parameters, all the amino acids, all the capabilities of the predicted structure. If there is an error, they, the tool will let you know. So read molecule and upload the structure of RASF2. You can see in figure number 81. After that, add hydrogen items. Why we add hydrogen items? Usually in predicted three-dimensional structure, there is no hydrogen item. If there will be, actually, you know. Okay, so we just going to recall another concept. Please be attentive. Just Imagine that, imagine the structures of uh, amino acids, linear structures, like if we have three carbons, one first alpha carbon has carboxyl group and the last carbon has amino group and the centered carbon has two hydrogens, one on the right side, one on the left side. And if we have, suppose, 10 carbons in a linear shape, then first one Alpha carbon has carboxyl or amino group and the last one has the alternative one and the remaining eight carbons has hydrogen on right and le left if they don't have any other uh, item like chlorine or like any other oxygen or maybe sulfur. So the long story short is this. Usually we have so many hydrogens. So if there is so many hydrogens with the three dimensional predicted structure, the software will be very heavy. Software has to do much work and everyone knows about the hydrogen structures of hydrogen. So usually we skip that. So it's an important step to add hydrogen items for the experiment. Usually the protein structure do not have hydrogen atoms and it is significant for reliable results to add the hydrogen items in the protein molecule. We just showed it in figure number 82. You can see from added, you just go to the hydrogen and just click the add button. You can also use the option of manage polar, uh, non-polar items, file.pdb and other available parameters. Hide protein. Okay. After that, you can see on the, this left side, you can, you have many options. And when you will just click here, you can hide the protein. 
why you are going to hide the protein you have to hide the protein to have a good look to the ligand you want to dock with that protein otherwise if the ligand is small one or maybe on the back side of the protein and you can see there are so many residues and items and bonds showed on this protein so you cannot have a good look to the ligand and you cannot prepare the ligand when you will have the protein on the screen right click on the molecules at the dashboard and click to hide the protein the purpose of hiding the protein is to make the screen clear for the ligand preparation to avoid the mistakes the user can skip this step but it's better to perform after that you have to prepare the ligand you have to open the ligand from the option ligand input open all files and choose the file you want to open before that i strongly suggest you to minimize the ligand also if you are going to do the experiment for reliable results and if you will not minimize the ligand maybe your ligand will break down the stereochemistry will not good the torsion angles may be disturbed or many other problems you have to face so please minimize the ligands before the experiment first of all and after that you can you can minimize the ligand through chemdraw ultra you can minimize the ligand through ucsf chimera you can minimize the ligand through moe you can minimize the ligand through avogadros so these tools are you can utilize to minimize the ligand okay usually the fda approved drug molecule screen library to identify a molecule novel designed molecule or molecule reported in the literature are used as a ligand depends on the nature of the experiment after that we have defined torsion angles so if when we will define the torsion angles it will lead to rotate the bonds or not to rotate the bonds and if we will rotate the bonds it will lead to flexible docking and if we will make the bonds rigid it will lead to rigid docking so ligand torsion tree set number of torsions to choose the number of rotatable bonds that move the fewest or most items the defining of the torsion also depends on the nature of experiment everything depends on the nature of experiment because sometimes someone wants just blind docking someone wants targeted docking someone wants flexible docking depends on the nature of protein or nature of ligand or nature of experiment choose the uh, number of rotatable bonds and move the fewest or most items depends on the experiment it is better to make all rotatable bonds to zero for rigid docking if you want to perform the rigid docking you will have to make all the rotatable bonds zero as i already explained you or for flexible docking you have to make the bonds rotatable so when the bonds can rotate it is like dynamic of the protein and you will have better results generally auto dock is considered better for the rigid docking so it is better to make all the rotatable bonds to non rotatable so if you want to do rigid docking please use auto dock 4 after that you have to save the ligand file into pdb qt okay what is pdb qt next question you already i think you have three questions now first one what is gravy and the second one why we minimize the proteins and the third one what is pdb qt what is the difference between pdb and pdb qt file and why pdb qt file is important here in this experiment you have to find these questions and then we will discuss the answers in our next lecture then you have to hide the ligand as we hide the protein to prepare the molecule again uh, you can also add the water molecules depends on the nature of your experiment like if the experiment is in uh, if the protein in nature the protein is present in cytoplasm then you have to add the water molecules and if the protein is in is a membranous protein then you have to generate the lipid layer around the protein depends on the nature of protein and then we have a grid box molecule the if the grid box in actual define the blind and targeted docking if you want to perform the targeted docking and you know the binding domain is from serine 17 to alanine 20 or maybe 25 you just generate the grid box on that specific residues and if you don't know about the targeted 
binding domain then you have to perform the blind docking and you have to cover the whole protein with the grid box and there is three dimensions of that grid box y axis z axis and x axis sorry x axis y axis and z axis i hope and i believe you know about these axes as you studied in your lower standard classes then you have to prepare the grid box and you also have to prepare the grid box file i assume that many of you guys just saying thanks to the pyrex guy who generated pyrex for us otherwise it's a long experiment and one small mistake will disturb your all the experiment so then you have to prepare the like uh, log file that we know that we usually call log file you have to make it uh, you have to make it uh, the log file by just changing the x axis y axis and z axis dimensions and you also have to specify a space specify the spacing between these axes depends the depends on the grid box <coughs> excuse me then you have then you have to save the grid box in log file here you can see how the we are going to save this file you can see this that if you will follow this queries in all the headings or all the steps you you can perform the experiment like first you have to go to grid then there is an output option then there is a save gpf option grid parameter file then you have to save as grid.gpf the extension of the file should be gps okay we have this information here like the file format for the grid file should be .gpf okay and uh, after that you have to prepare the parameter file docking then you have to follow this query this code docking then you have to go to macro molecule set rigid file name and choose grid dot pdb qt after that you have to specify the ligand and it's <coughs> excuse me docking ligand choose and all these steps you have to follow to just specifying the ligand then we have to perform the docking experiment and depends which docking algorithm you will use lamarckism genetic algorithm and many others but the most fav most favorite ones and the most cited ones and the most successful ones are genetic algorithm and lamarckism again i will say you have to know how these algorithms work i just give you a hint that this genetic algorithm okay again we are running off time i am going to summarize it in 2 to 3 minutes then we have genetic algorithm genetic algorithms depends on all the natural selection theory and the genetics of the biological system the the researcher just drive this concept and apply here depends on the experiment which which algorithm you are going to use genetic algorithm or lamarckism algorithm then you have to set the parameters and default parameters are much more better to perform here we also have lamarckism genetic algorithm if you want to use it and you have to save the results then you have to run the autodoc like run run autogrid and launch okay from here then you have the docking results here is the results you have to prepare the you will get the results in dlg file dot dlg file and you have to prepare your pdb file i i hope you know how to prepare the pdb file first you have to copy the ligand from the file dlg file and then paste the ligand in the receptor file of dot pdb file of receptor protein and you can visualize it you can also use this uh, parameter like like this one in figure number 100 analyze confirmations play ranked by energy click and click on and sign and then you have this show information write complex then you will have the information of the complex like in this tall bar in this bar in this box and you can analyze all the binding energy ligand efficiency usually you will see you saw the different parameters in the table of the published papers there are so many values you can extract the values from here first you can align the so align all the ligands with their minimum 
binding energy will be at the top sort it like that and then you will you can analyze it much more better okay we are in hurry auto dog we now we have okay jonathan javed mohammad yusuf jamal yes sir okay who's there yusuf or jonathan Yusuf, Yusuf Jamal and Jonathan Javed and Nagin Fatma, please help yes, me to decide. We have to cover this topic. Getting started with Auto Dog Vina. In this lecture, we have four minutes more, or we have to recall it in detail in next lecture. You have thirty seconds to decide because uh, you are the representative of the class. So detail in next lecture. Okay, Jonathan. So recall, recall. Recall in next lecture. Jonathan Javed, your vote is recall in next lecture zero because majority is authority and we already have two vote in one basket. Thank you so much, everyone. Anyone has any question? Anyone has any question? Please raise your hand. Okay. Thank you for joining. I will upload the lecture as per instructions and I will also upload the URL on. faculty portal for your access i request everyone to listen the lecture from youtube again and please try to understand all the concepts and try yourself help yourself to understand the concepts okay thank you very much anyone wants to say anything i will try i will try to grab the book for you i hope i will have the coins if i didn't use that okay anyone have any question thank you so much thanks for joining